Yashar, Jasher, 30. And Yaakov went forth, continuing his road to Haran. And he came as far as Mount Moriah. And he tarried there all night near the city of Luz. And Yahuwah appeared there unto Yaakov on that night. And he said unto him, I am Yahuwah Elohim of Avraham and the Elohim of Yitzchak, your father. The land upon which you lie, I will give unto you and your seed. And behold, I am with you and will guard you wherever you go. And I will multiply your seed as the stars of heaven. And I will cause all your enemies to fall before you. And when they shall make war with you, they shall not prevail over you. And I will bring you again unto this land with joy, with children, and with great riches. And Yaakov awoke from his sleep, and he rejoiced greatly at the vision which he had seen. And he called the name of that place Beat El. And Yaakov rose up from that place quite rejoiced. And when he walked with walked, his feet felt light to him for joy. And he went from there to the land of the children of the east. And he returned to Haran. And he sat by the shepherd's well. And he there found some men going from Haran to feed their flocks. And Yaakov made inquiries of them, and they said, We are from Haran. And he said unto them, Do you know Lavan, the son of Nehor? And they said, We know him. And behold, his daughter Rachel is coming along to feed her father's flock. While he was yet speaking with them, Rachel, the daughter of Lavan, came to feed her father's sheep for she was a shepherdess. And when Yaakov saw Rachel, the daughter of Lavan, his mother's brother, he ran and kissed her and lifted up his voice and wept. And Yaakov told Rachel that he was the son of Rivka, her father's sister. And Rachel ran and told her father, and Yaakov continued to cry because he had nothing with him to bring to the house of Levan. And when Levan heard that his sister's son Yaakov had come, he ran and kissed him and embraced him and brought him into the house and gave him bread and he ate. And Yaakov related to Levan what his brother Esau had done to him, and what his son Eliphaz had done to him in the road. And Yaakov resided in Levan's house for one month. And Yaakov ate and drank in the house of Levan. And afterward, Levan said unto Yaakov, Tell me what shall be your wages, for how can you serve me for naught? And Levan had no sons, but only daughters. And his other women and handmaids were still barren in those days. And these are the names of Levan's daughters, which his woman, Adina, had borne unto him. The name of the elder was Leah, and the name of the younger was Rachel. And Leah was tender-eyed, but Rachel was beautiful and well-favored, and Yaakov loved her. And Yaakov said unto Levan, I will serve you seven years for Rachel, your younger daughter. And Levan consented to this, and Yaakov served Levan seven years for his daughter Rachel. 
and in the second year of Yaakov's dwelling in Haran, that is in the 79th year of the life of Yaakov, in that year died Eber, the son of Shem. He was 464 years old at his death. And when Yaakov heard that Iber was dead, he grieved exceedingly. And he lamented and mourned over him many days. And in the third year of Yaakov's dwelling in Haran, Basmacht, the daughter of Yishmael, the woman of Esau, bore unto him a son, And Esau called his name Reuel. And in the fourth year of Yaakov's residence in the house of Lavan, Yahua visited Lavan and remembered him on account of Yaakov. And sons were born unto him. And his firstborn was Beor. His second was Aliv. And the third was Chorash. And Yahuwah gave Lavan riches and honor, sons and daughters, and the man increased greatly on account of Yaakov. And Yaakov in those days served Lavan in all manner of work, in the house and in the field. And the blessing of Yahuwah was in all that belonged to Lavan, in the house and in the field. And in the fifth year died Yahudit, the daughter of Berei, the woman of Esau, in the land of Canaan. And she had no sons but daughters only. And these are the names of her daughters which she bore to Esau. The name of the elder was Mazit, and the name of the younger was Puit. And when Yahudit died, Esau arose up and went to Seir to hunt in the field, as usual. And Esau dwelt in the land of Seir for a long time. And in the sixth year, Esau took for a woman, in addition to his other women, Oholivamah, the daughter of Sitvan the Chavi, rather the Chavi. And Esau brought her to the land of Canaan. And Ohlivama conceived and bore unto Esau three sons, Yeush, Yaalan, and Chorach. And in those days, in the land of Canaan, there was a quarrel between the herdsmen of Esau and the herdsmen of the inhabitants of the land of Canaan. For Esau's cattle and goods were too abundant for him to remain in the land of Canaan, in his father's house, and the land of Canaan could not bear him on account of his cattle. And when Esau saw that his quarreling increased with the inhabitants of the land of Canaan, he rose up and took his women and his sons and his daughters and all belonging to him and the cattle which he possessed and all his property that he had acquired in the land of Canaan. And he went away from the inhabitants of the land to the land of Seir, and Esau and all belonging to him dwelt in the land of Seir. But from time to time Esau would go and see his father and mother in the land of Canaan. And Esau intermarried with the Charim, and he gave his daughters to the sons of Seir, the Chori. And he gave his elder daughter, Mazit, to Anna, the son of Sivan, his woman's brother. 
and Put he gave to Azar, the son of Bilha, the Khori, and Esau dwelt in the mountain, he and his children, and they were fruitful and multiplied.